What's up, Storm fans? Brian Cook, and today I have a special treat for you. Garrett Yaki, who is a member of our top tier, the Combo Cabal, which comes with a perk of submitting a donation deck every single month for free. Garrett asked to see some high tide combo, and Garrett, I'm going to deliver for you because that's what we do here. And I re received this deck list. Garrett told me to pick my own list, but I wanted to ask the experts. So I asked Marcus Awald, high tide extraordinaire, what Marcus would recommend playing. And Marcus shipped me this, this exact 75. I made zero changes, and it is wild. So it's been a long time since I've seen Sapphire Medallion in high tide combo. Keep in mind, I'm pretty old. Uh, I mean, it's just a hard fact. And when I was a kid, Sapphire Medallion used to be pretty stock in this deck. This was before Time Spiral was unbanned in Legacy. So you'd see a lot of Clot of Fairies, you'd see a lot of Snap, but instead of having Time Spiral, the deck would run four Meditate and four Ideas amount. It was called Spring Tide. And this deck is very reminiscent of Spring Tide because we have these Clot of Fairies and these Snaps that have fallen out of favor over the last 15 years or so of Legacy, and now they're back. And part of the reason why is that we have an additional creature now in Spellseeker. So now we have Spellseeker to snap to go get another Merchant Scroll or High Tide or even our main deck Brain Freeze, which is just really, really sweet. So I'm excited to play this act today. I think it's going to be awesome. The idea is that we have High Tide to um, make a whole bunch of mana with our lands, and then we have Snap, and Cloud of Fairies to generate mana um, off of those high tides. And then we have Sapphire, to, but, <clears throat> excuse me, Medallion to reduce costs, plus a bunch of other sweet stuff. So I'm excited to play this. I don't know if there's a whole lot to cover, so I'm just going to hop right on in. I hope you enjoyed the deck list. Garrett, thanks again. I do appreciate you and your continued support. Marcus, thank you for the sweet deck list, and I hope everyone enjoys some spiral tide, some spring tide, whatever you would like to call it, high tide combo, and I'll see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We're on the draw. I have no idea what our opponent's playing. Uh, this hand's pretty slow, but it has force in it. Uh, I think I'm actually going to try this. I mean, I'm probably going to get yelled at for keeping a do-nothing hand by the comment section, but hey, that's what I'm here for, for you to tell me how I could be better. So we're going to keep... I'm sort of hoping our opponent's just like on an all-in combo deck that loses the force. Uh, this looks like the Epic Storm. Okay. They're going for it. Oh, Stranger 99. I didn't want this to happen. Okay, looks like they're going to Echo. Not like this. 
I feel so bad. I don't want the Epic Storm to lose, but... Oh, jeez. That's what you get for trying to cheese me, though. <laughs> All right, so we have four lands ponder. I had no clue what our opponent was playing, by the way. Like, I didn't bother to look them up. Um, I just sort of, you know, kept a hand. This is really good. We're going to keep this. Okay. Opponent just passing the turn will draw. I'm going to just pass and draw the Merchant Scroll. <clears throat> There's no need to just, like, cast Ponder. Like, our opponent's so far behind that we can take our time a little bit here, which is my main point. Love these. Let's take both of them. Well, you should say all of them, right? Um, I'm just going to brainstorm now. Ooh, we picked up Sapphire Medallion. I do like that. Let's get rid of the Brain Freeze and a land. Okay. Point it up to three cards in hand. It's worth noting that we might have to beat Veil vale of Summer uh, as the mono blue deck. So that, that could be a little bit difficult. Okay. Let's play the Sapphire Medallion. So I could play Spellseeker here, or I can just Merchant Scroll for Force of Will. Uh, and I'd rather just have Force in hand, I think. And I'm going to pass the turn. They found their land. They're going for it. Relay for two, okay. Uh, what were they? Burning Wish, Wish Claw. Okay. Draw. Let's start off on this Ponder. A lot of fairies. So, I can High Tide, High Tide, Claw of Fairies to make mana. Spellseeker for Scroll for Cunning Wish for Intuition. Um... So much mana. I don't think I can make that much mana, in fact. Actually, you know what? For the sake of science, let's do it. I'm going for it. Okay, so Cloud of Fairies, we will cast it. Untap these two. I think there's a cool line here that I wasn't thinking about, which is we're going to go get Snap. Okay, and now we will snap our Spellseeker. And now we cast Spellseeker. Ooh, and I could go get another snap to make more mana. So this is sweet. This is very, uh, like, Azorius Familiars and uh, Pauper. Like, this is just really awesome. Okay, and now we can... Merchant Scroll. Let's cast Scroll. Swarm's 10 already. Jeez, I can probably just win the game here. I can probably just deck them. I was so... Um, yeah, we just have this, I think. So I need a Swarm kind of 16 to win. So if I get Snap here... So that becomes 11, Spellseeker is 12. Snap again is 13, Spellseeker is 14. I actually end up being one storm short. All right, so I'll grab the Cunning Wish. Okay. Ooh, I can get Mission Briefing here, and I think that does it. Um... Let's put the tide back or the snap back on top. And we can give ponder flashback. Cast the ponder. Grab the snap. Snap the spell seeker. This is really sweet. Okay, storm 15. We should have one more snap left in the deck too. 
This is powerful. I like it. I wasn't expecting Spellseeker to be this good. Okay, now we go get the Brain Freeze. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I oh love it. Love it. Okay. So I don't know if we're actually supposed to cyborg at all. I don't think we are, just because like I don't think boarding in anything actually does anything for us, so I'm just gonna hit submit again. But that was so awesome. I love the Spellseeker snap loop. That is so sweet. Uh, this hand's pretty good, but it doesn't have a force in it. I think we're just going to posture a little bit and try this out. Tropical Island into Chrome Mox, okay. Right of Flame. And Grid. So, yeah, no force here. Draw. We have to pass. Give me a... If I draw into Clot of Fairies, we could actually go for a turn two. I would love a turn two with this deck. That would be so sweet. Come on, deck. Please give me a Clot of Fairies right here. Clot of Fairies! All right, Ponder. We have to shuffle those. Third time spiral. Jeez Louise, okay. I mean, if they got it, they got it. It's four mana. All right, so that's Ad Nauseam. And they have a land drop, so we are very dead here. All right, Ad Nauseam is on the stack. Echo. They're at two. So they have Echo here. Um, I don't, is that, that's a new wish claw. So they can imprint the relay on a Chrome Mox, go right of flame, right of flame, black land, wish claw, LED tendrils. They should have it here. Okay. Let's see if they see the line. Ooh, I think they missed it. I think they missed lethal. They didn't shuffle though, so I'm probably dead. Volcanic into right, right. I know that's a burning wish, not a pair of right of flames. My bad. My bad. I, I thought that was two pairs of right of flames, not a right of flame and a burning wish. Never mind. Okay, so they got it from here. My bad. Okay, game three. Let's just resubmit. Game three on the play. No. Sure. I think we get rid of the second copy of Brainstorm. All right. I'm a little bit nervous because the Epic Storm is so good at beating um, like one force of will. This is pretty good. Okay, so let's play the medallion. We're drawing another medallion next turn. And brainstorm. <clears throat> okay. Wish claw's fine. Draw. So I can go get another force here. And I think that's probably the line. Like, I don't see any advantage in of playing on another. Um, what am I trying to say here? Another medallion. And another brainstorm. So they're a little bit brainstorm locked. I suppose I could have played my game a little bit differently as well. I What I could have done was off that brainstorm. The next turn, instead of playing Sapphire Medallion, Merchant Scroll, so that way I didn't get stuck with the second medallion. Okay, they have four cards in hand after this Lotus Petal. And another Wish Claw. Okay. Draw. 
So I can play Spellseeker here and then snap it, which basically just does nothing. Um, I don't think there's any real advantage. Okay, I'm just going to play the Sapphire Medallion and pass. I have to hope to live. And we're in a tough spot here because they have double Wishclaw and four cards in hand. I have a feeling like if I was playing this game right now with double Wishclaw on the table, you should be able to blow through double fours. Okay. And we have to force this. All right. So they're going to get another Veil of Summer. And we'll force again. And we're dead. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, the Epic Storm is just so good at beating slow force decks. What are the odds Ad Nauseam fails? Roughly uh, 0%. Yeah, this is also a really good Ad Nauseam. <laughs> All right, they got us. Okay, I'm not going to make them click through. We are very, very dead. The better Storm deck wins. We are 0-1. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two on the play. Hell yeah, this hand seems great. Island and pass the turn. Cavern of Souls. Name's human. Okay. Another island off the top rope. And let's play Sapphire Medallion. Pass. Okay. What is it? Thalia, countered by Sapphire Medallion. Okay, so one cool thing about this list is we do have four main deck snap. Let's just go grab one of those right now. And let's pass the turn. Just play second Caracas out. I, I respect it. I do respect it. Mother of Ruins, okay. So now's our turn. Time Spiral, that's a good pickup. So let's send Thalia back to where she belongs, not on the battlefield, and on top of her lands. Plot of Fairies. Let's cast it. This is what we call going off low tide, by the way. This was a common expression back in the early days of Legacy. We are going off low tide. All right, and now we have a high tide. Untap our four lands. High tide. This taps for two. We will snap our Clot of Fairies. Untap our lands. I'm going to play out Sapphire Medallion because I can. You can't stop me. A lot of fairies. Untap her two lands. Come on, I was just starting to have fun. Jeez, okay. Our opponent wasn't up for our shenanigans. So we probably want the Echoing Truths here. Take out this Pact Negation. Um, 61 cards at the moment. Do we board out a force versus like the Cavern deck? We could try that out. Okay, I think that's what the plan is. Game number two on the draw. Our opponent's kept seven. So here we have triple brainstorm in our deck with like six fetch lands in it. I'm not exaggerating. We we actually play like six fetch lands. So I don't love this. I think that we just ship it back. Yikes. Alright, we're on five. Um 
I guess so. This is what we're doing. Cavern of Souls. As per Sentinel. Okay, draw. Pass the turn. Scrubland. Champion of the Parish. You got it. Ouch. Draw. Ponder. Let's cast it. We can also pay the tax on the Sentinel. Yes. Okay, so this actually isn't that bad. So we have a Spellseeker on top of our deck. I can use Spellseeker to get High Tide next turn. Arrakis. Mother of Ruins. Okay. Still three cards in the opponent's hand. Ouch. Well, fun fact, I also play humans. Spellseeker. Yes. And let's go get a high tide. So what we're lacking at the moment is a real payoff. So I need to find a time spiral, ideally. And then we could be in this game. Either vial, you've got it. All right, I'll take it. Okay, draw. Ding! Just like we drew it up. Okay, what's well, tied? Plot of fairies, cast. Surgical on high tide. I'm going to let that go. We High tide has already done its job. We're not trying to cast any more of those this game. All right, so let's untap our two islands. Two more. Let's play Cloud of Fairies. Untap. Tap two. Let's snap a Cloud of Fairies. Make a little bit more mana. Untap. Okay, tap Cloud of Fairies. Untap. Uh, it's actually, no, it works out. We have 12 mana. So I can hard cast Force if they have a Mind Break Trap. Uh, spell number seven. Our opponent was not up for fun. Okay, so we are now one and one. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition, a galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live, eighth progenitor ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number three. We are on the draw. I have no clue what our opponent's playing, but we are going to keep this. We do need to find land number two. I get it, but it's a force of will hand. Uh, like, we don't know if our opponent's on a combo deck or a fair deck, but they've mulliganed to five. So there's a chance they're on a degenerate combo deck, or they think we're on a degenerate combo deck and they're mulliganing to five for protection like force of will, which we already have. <laughs> so we want to find land two. That's our primary goal here. Okay. Lotus Petal, so they are a combo deck. Ponder. Island. All right, so I would guess that this is probably Doomsday. And our opponent's passing the turn. Draw. Not an island. Pass the turn. 
Looking more and more like Doomsday by the second. Come on, Doc, give me land. No! <laughs> Alright, so we're discarding a Sapphire Medallion here. Jigs up. Lion's Eye Diamond. And they're passing the turn. So we still don't know if it's Doomsday or Ant. Draw. There's an island. Okay, let's play a Sapphire Medallion. And pass the turn. Most broken card in all of Legacy. It makes islands even better. Dark Ritual. Is this an Ad Nauseam end step? It is, so they're on Ant, and we will force of will this. <laughs> okay. Um, Spellseeker can't get Spiral, so let's just pitch the Seeker. I understand it works with the snap, but I think Cunning Wish is a little bit better here. They draw Brainstorm. Okay. Draw. I'm going to ponder here, see what we can find. Spiral's good. Though we don't have an untap effect. Because I pitched the Spellseeker. Like a dummy. One thing that I do find a little bit weird is there isn't a turnabout in the sideboard for the Cunning Wish. I feel like turnabout's a card that you would be interested in. Opponent casting Preordain. One on top, one on the bottom. Interesting. Take a draw. So I can leave up Cunning Wish, and that allows me to get Intuition for Force. I think that's just the play here. We don't have a Counterspell on our sideboard that isn't Pact Negation, so that's why I'm thinking this way. I definitely got punished a little bit on my decision to pitch Spellseeker. Maybe I was undervaluing the snap a little bit. Ah, uh, so they're on the Demonic Tutor's Ant build. Picks up a Duress. Okay, and it looks like they're passing here. Let's cast this Cunning Wish. Um, guess we'll just grab an Intuition. And then... Let's hope that we draw a land here. Draw or... Okay, well that's fine, I believe. So we high tide. And then intuition for Cloud of Fairies. Uh, actually, I might have just messed that up. I did. I could have played out Sapphire Medallion and saved a mana there. I was playing too quickly. Definitely a punt on my part. Okay, so I just got punished a little bit. It's fine. Okay, so I need to play better. Uh, we already knew that, but it's a harsh fact. All right, and now we'll snap. Let's play the medallion. So basically, I just lost one mana in the long run. A lot of fairies. Okay, untap. Snap, untap, cast Cloud of Fairies, roughly infinite mana, and Time Spiral, 2011. Okay, Storm's 9, we already have Brain Freeze. High Tide, let's cast Brainstorm. We can get rid of these lands, we don't need those. Spellseeker. Yes. We'll grab the foil merchant scroll. We don't want to get that white border trash. We'll cast merchant scroll. Get cunning wish. Cunning wish. Get the zenith. Ponder. Okay. Let's grab the snap. Why not? Cloud of Fairies. Play the Cloud of Fairies. 
We're just increasing storm at this point. Um, let's play another one, I guess. Okay. And brain freeze you. Take that, Ant. It is a combo full league. Against Ant, do we want to bring in the Malevolent Hermits? I don't know. I do think that Pact Indigation is probably not very good, but it does stop Veil of Summer. But if they're on the uh, the Demonic Tutors list, they don't actually have Veil of Summer or Foster Storm. So the value of this Pact is pretty low. If you bring in Wipe Away, you can get them on an Infernal Tutor by bouncing their land. Like, we could bring in the Hermit. It's just like, I, I wonder if the Hermit's what we actually want to be doing here, and I don't think the answer is yes. So I think I'd rather just have like a wipe away to bounce their land and make their uh, Infernal Tutor fizzle. Game two versus Burning Ant. I think I'm actually going to keep this, and it seems weird, right? Because I'm facing this fast combo. I don't want to have six. Uh, I'm facing this fast combo deck, but they're also a deck full of discard spells like Duress. Your incentive to mulligan really aggressively for Forcible, I don't think should be there. They took the Brainstorm. Okay. Draw. Play the island and just pass the turn. We don't want to show our opponent that we drew a fetch land. Brainstorm. Blue to Delta and activate. Badlands. Oh, they're going for it. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. And ad nauseum. Okay, looking pretty good so far. They've already revealed the Lotus Petal. Ball Ritual again. Hermit. Tutor. Looks like they're one mana short here. They just need a Dark Ritual or a Lotus Petal off the top. They're choosing to stop. So they might have something in hand already, or they're just fine with playing a discard spell and passing. They had another Lotus Petal in hand. Okay. And we are dead. I'm just going to pick it up. We can go to game two. Or game three. All right. I'm just going to resubmit. Game three on the play. Can't keep that one. I don't even know if I'm supposed to keep this. All right. Well, just bluff and pretend that I have fours. Volcanic Island, Ponder. They shuffled. Uh, let's thin an island out. Why not? Draw. Okay, so the question is, do I get a force here or do I get the high tide? I'm going to have them respect me possibly having a force and I'm going to go for the higher upside play of grabbing high tide. Brainstorm from our opponent. Lotus Petal. Delta. Underground C, and they're going for it. No respect to force. Infernal Tutor. Okay, so they have passed in flames. We'll let this resolve. So if I had to guess, they're just going to grab Ad Nauseam here. Because if you grab a discard spell, I think you end up short on mana. But I'm dead to the ad nauseum anyway. Okay. So we need them to not flip any copies of Lotus Petal, and they've already done it. So we're probably just dead here. My decision to make them respect Force Will did not pan out for us. High Tide loses to both Dark Ritual Storm decks in the same league. Ouch. Okay, they're flipping more, I guess. <laughs> they don't need to. They already have it. They flipped a pair of Lotus Petals. So they had it all. It didn't really matter. 
Okay, so they got it. We are now one and two. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, time for match number four. We're on the draw, and once again, no lands. Running a little bit cold uh, with this deck, I feel like. Okay, uh, I guess we keep this. And eight cast. I have to imagine that this is an awful matchup. Okay. We reveal Ponder. Draw. Well, I guess they get the draw off their bobble first. Another spell seeker. Let's cast that ponder. Shuffle that. That's for sure. Okay, another copy of Brainstorm. Ottawara and Chalice on one. That's annoying. We technically have Cunning Wish or Echoing Truth, but it's really expensive. Okay, so now they drop Bobble again. Draw. Okay, pass. Bobble coming back. Thought cast. Another Bobble. Okay. I don't lie, this seems pretty miserable. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> Uh, I hate eight cast so much. It's just like a deck that shouldn't exist, in my opinion. A lot of fairies, okay. So let's play Spellseeker for Merchant Scroll for Cunning Wish for Echoing Truth. Like, uh, and by like, I mean that eight cast shouldn't exist. I don't like the idea of the Chalice of the Void Forcible combo deck being a viable thing. Like, they're two different pillars of legacy. And the way that it's shaped out is that like it's just best to combine them and i feel like that's a little bit wrong uh not that it like shouldn't be allowed it's just it shouldn't be this good uh and be allowed like in the past the forcible chalice decks have always been like pretty janky and now it's just like the best thing that you can be doing okay I'm up to eight cards in hand too i just wish that they would hurry up and kill me instead of creating a bunch of useless card advantage all right, uh, I'm going to concede to the second chalice. I don't need to sit here and beat my head against a wall. All right, so let's go to the next game. We can board in some hermits. Those will help. Okay. Um, maybe just take out the ponders. I mean, they're a chalice deck, so it sort of makes sense. I think you probably want the Hercules too. I don't know how you fit it all though that's the issue like you just board out the brainstorms and like laugh at chalice on one outside of the high tide i'm not sure probably want to leave one hercules for the uh the cunning wish actually you take out pact but they have a bunch of forces in their deck too i just don't know <sighs> let's try it Sure. Okay, I'll end and pass the turn. Chalice on one. Yep. You got it. Okay, and now they're bobbling us. Just gonna auto yield to those. And I'm going to attempt to play a sapphire here. Pass the turn. There's a saga. Draw. Okay, so I think I'm going to spell seeker here for force. But I can't get force. Um, hmm. Maybe I get tied. 
Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to win somehow. I don't know. Uh, so I, I get Hercules them on their end step, but if they force me, I'm going to feel like a dummy. Um, where if I wait, I have Cunning Wish into Pact Negation. Shells too. So that's sort of a problem. Uh, we, we do have the Druid. We have to find Hermit Druid first. Hmm. I think I'm just going to let it go. So we have to find, uh, not Hermit Druid, uh, Malevolent Hermit. Sorry, words are tough. Uh, let's cast this Intuition. I'm sorry, Cunning Wish for Intuition. Aya. Uh... And now Saga. Wonder what they get here. The best thing they could actually get would be Graveyard Hate. And they did not. We're looking to draw land this turn. Because then I could Intuition and put Hermit directly into play. I guess I'm still one short of that, actually. So expensive. Yep. Come on, Hermit. We have four of them in the deck. Draw. Intuition. We need this to resolve. They forced it wisely. Um. I guess I can cycle the Clod of Fairies here to see if I can spike a force. Cycle. No dice. Pass the turn. Don't think I'm going to be fast enough. So we'll take six here going to 11. Come on, Malevolent Hermit. Ah, oh, geez. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to just spiral here. They know that we have force, but if they have double force, it doesn't matter. And they force pitching. No, they, they hard cast it. Okay. Spiral. It resolves. How about that? And we hit a hermit. Okay, so we play Hermit here, it gets countered. And then we can bring it back into play. Ooh, apparently the Disturb cost is also one less. I didn't realize that. Wait, how's it countered from the graveyard? Is it, is it you cast it? Oh. So I guess it doesn't beat Chalice on 2 like I thought it did. I was playing my this entire time to that beating Chalice on 2. Had I known that, uh, I would have played this a little bit differently. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so we are 1 in 3. I don't know if I actually could have done anything better there, but hey, I learned that Disturbed or Disturb uh, doesn't work versus Chalice on 2. So I'm thankful for this league already. 1 in 3. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match. We're on the draw. This seems like a pretty good hand to me. Uh, we're lacking a high tide, but I like that it has force in it and, you know, the Sapphire Medallion. Let's see how it goes. Jared Mesa, what are you playing? Draw and another Spiral. Okay. Let's ponder. Um, I think we keep this. I know it seems crazy. But with Sapphire Medallion, those Cloud of Fairies represent going off low tide with the Time Spiral. Uh, is this just Painter? I think it is. I think that this is just Painter. 
Okay. Draw. And let's play the Sapphire Medallion. Pass the turn. There's a Saga. Still four cards in the opponent's hand. Lotus Petal, three cards. And they're just passing. Draw. All right, so we have double counter backup. I think we just have to go for it. Quad Fairies. Cast it. I mean, I could just pass, but that means that I can't even cast Time Spiral next turn. I think I'm just going to go for it. If they if they have it, they have it. Okay. Untap. Plot of Fairies. Untap. And now we spiral. Not the best. Uh, let's see what we can do. High Tide. I didn't end up casting the Pact. Uh, I'm going to brainstorm in response. See what I have going on here. Garbage. Garbage is what I have. Uh, we're going to let the High Tide be countered. And I've already played my land like an idiot. Ah, oh, damn. That's a mistake. Okay, we have to pass. Oh, that's such a bummer. Okay, Painter's Servant, Goblin Engineer. Oh, why did I let that resolve? That was stupid. Um, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Welder. Okay. So I think I'm just going to fetch and cast Brainstorm and hope that the Brainstorm is the nuts. Okay. That's definitely not it. Um, so I have Cunning Wish and then something like Hercules Recall. But the problem with that is that they have so much mana that they can... The double welder play beats it. I'm just dead here. Even if I ponder into some, <coughs> excuse me, into something like snap, uh, it wouldn't be good enough. I think one thing that I've definitely felt this league is that we needed more things like, um, what am I trying to say here? Like turnabout, like I felt mana constrained a lot of the time. Okay, so now we can play Cloud of Fairies. We'll untap two lands, and then we need to ponder into Snap, I guess. I don't even really know what's going on anymore. Like, I think we're just dead no matter what. Shuffle. Okay. So that does it. We're dead on board. Uh, next game. I could have forced the Engineer, and I just clicked through it. It's sort of my own fault. Not that it matters, because it's not like we could have gone off anytime soon, based on what our hand was. I'm just going to send it back. Yeah, I definitely feel like this deck probably wants some turnabout somewhere. I'm not saying they need to be in the main deck, but like one for a Cunning Wish target seems like a pretty low cost to me, because you're so hungry for big untap effects and they just don't exist in this deck. Uh, you're all in on Snap Cloud of Fairies. Okay. Sure, let's try it. Island Ponder. I think we have to ship that. Spellseeker, okay. Plateau, Lotus Petal. Goblin Welder. Draw. Okay, we're passing the turn. Engineer. Going to let that go. I realize that I can force it. 
Um, I just don't think it really matters that much here. Canonist. Okay. Wasn't considering canonist, admittedly. So they just have us on a hard lock. That's brutal. Oh, um, yeah, let's just pass the turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. I was not considering the, the canonist line. All right, we will force the blast. Getting rid of Cunning Wish, I guess. And now they bring back Canonist. Draw. So if I play Snap, I, I can't even do anything. Next turn, they can do the Engineer Canonist stuff. I'm out of this. All right, I'm just going to concede. So, Garrett, I am sorry. This league did not go that well. Uh, I, I did have fun playing it, though. Like, I know that we had a record of one and four. Um, but I don't know. Like, this deck was super fun. It was really sweet. I definitely got to feel like a kid again playing Sapphire Medallion, which was awesome. I just don't know how competitive in general. This has nothing to do with this specific list, but the Time Spiral combo decks are. Um, I'm not an expert, so I can't really say how competitive they are or which versions are competitive. I don't have strong opinions on that. But I do feel like this draw combo deck is probably a little bit weaker in a Hull Breacher Narset world. I do believe in that. Uh, but thank you to Garrett for the donation deck. Thank you to Marcus for the list. I appreciate both of you truly deeply. And uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.